Off the California coast, it's been getting harder to catch big fish like salmon. I got color, Jim! I'm here, buddy, I'm here! But a whole lot easier to hook a deep sea monster, the Humboldt squid. The huge tentacled creature grows to six feet long, can weigh up to 100 pounds. Watch out for that dangerous beak. In the Pacific, there's been a population boom. They're everywhere, and they're big and aggressive animals. So. Bruce Robeson of the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute uses an unmanned submarine to study the giant squid where it hunts. They squirt ink and, and grab anything in sight. The giant squid's usual territory, from Chile to Mexico, has expanded dramatically over the last seven years. Once rarely seen off California, they're now strong-arming their way toward dominance. So this is a pretty rapid change that's taking place here now. This is an extraordinarily rapid change. The betting is that this population explosion of giant squid is somehow related to global warming. But exactly what's going on remains a mystery of the deep. It seems to be succeeding as the climate's changing. North William Colossal Gilly of Stanford University says one thing's for sure, the squid are not picky eaters. They um, can pretty much eat anything they want. And right now, millions of them are consuming whatever they can find off the California coast. Tiny little krill like this or great big fishes like that. Even salmon. As the squid eat what we like to eat, our menu may change. You will get accustomed to eating less salmon and more squid. I can guarantee that. For fishermen, it means the tug on the end of the line could have tentacles instead of fins. They are big and they fight hard. Our one defense against this giant squid invasion may be to eat them as quickly as they're eating everything else. John Blackstone, CBS News, Monterey, California.